I went to Costco. <laughs> I went to Costco and Sprouts today oh, yeah. and um, I just got home and I cannot find my Costco receipt. It must still be in the van. I don't what? know. Um, I haven't really looked at the diaper bag really good, but I think I spent either 187 or 157. I think it was 157. Um, I'll put a little thing if I find the receipt so you can see how much it was. Um, so this is what I got at Costco. Now the lady, when I went through the checkout at Costco, she told me that as much as we spent so far, so we had the executive membership, which is $110 a year. Um, we would be getting $120 back from what we spend right now till January or since January. So it's kind of like, oh, we should have done that because then that would pay for our membership. So she did tell me that if we did go ahead and just pay the difference for now because they prorate you since it's not going to be a full year that we'll have it if we started it now until our membership renews. She said that if we don't get our money's worth out of it, like get the extra $55 back, then they would just refund us that much. So you're not out anything, but the only thing is you have to pay that much um, to start out with. You know, and then it pays for itself at the end of the year. So I, I have to talk to Simeon and see if we want to put up that extra money um, so we get more money back at the end of the year. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, so this is everything we got. And if you want some tips to save money at Costco, I did a video on money saving tips for Costco. So I'll put that link in the description box. So I'll show you everything I got. All right, so we got uh, tortilla chips and uh, potato chips and bananas. And these things you will see like in every Costco haul. Um, I got uh, their organic salsa. It's medium, so it's a little spicier than I like, but it tastes really good. And then I got this last time I went to Costco. These were, it was six something. They were on rebate um, for four of these. And when I made spaghetti the other day, um, my husband commented that it tasted really good. And it's because of the sauce. The sauce is really good. Normally I get the Classico um, organic sauce that Costco has, but they've been carrying this lately. And I switched over to this one because it was on rebate. It was a little bit cheaper. Um, since it was so good, I, go, I went ahead and I picked up two more because the rebate ends on the 1st of May, I think. So I got that. Um, this is something new I have not seen at Costco before. Um, it's the quick oats. Normally they have the regular oats and I usually buy those, um, but they had the quick oats and these were on rebate. So it was only like four or five dollars for this 10 pound um, package. And they had a little star thing on the price tag. So um, that means they're not gonna be carrying it anymore. So I picked up this um, for granola bars or um, the no bake cookies. Cause it's always nice to have the quick oats on hand instead of the regular oats. And then I got um, a spinach thing. That's something you'll always see in my Costco hauls. And then I wanted to go ahead and try this instead of getting just regular um, romaine lettuce. It's just the spring mix. Um, I really like the like the mixture of lettuce so I just thought it'd be something different to try. I got a package of the turkey sandwich meat. I really like the ham but they didn't have any so I just got the turkey. Sometimes they have the ham, sometimes they don't. Um, I got a bag of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. They normally have the Costco brand but they don't have them anymore. Got some diced tomatoes and then I'm gonna try this cereal here. Um, it's uh, honey toasted cereal and it was on rebate so I think I can't remember how much it was but it was a pretty good price and then this also was on rebate this was only like three something which is pretty good it was clearancing out um, I thought it sounded really good um, I also got a bag of water softener salt I get one every time I go to Costco and I don't normally show it in the hall because it's in the garage I leave it in there so my husband can take it in the basement um, so that's why I never show it and then I got some Kleenex, these were on rebate. And then this here, this was on rebate. I didn't really need dishwashing detergent yet, no! but I've been buying the powdered Cascade and I don't really like the pour powder box, you know, how you pour it in. It just kind of makes a mess and um, I wanted the tabs and these were on rebate and it ended, it's gonna end on the first, so I wanted to make sure I got it before um, I'd have to pay full price for it. And I also got this container of pink Himalayan salt. It's our favorite salt. Um, I got the vanilla ice cream. This ice cream is so good. It's similar to like Breyers as far as like the ingredients is just like milk, sugar, cream, you know, that sort of thing. No high fructose corn syrup or artificial flavors or whatever. Um, it's $10 and you get two um, half gallon containers. Oh, this is so good. So we got this for a treat. Hopefully we'll make it last a really long time. Um, this is also one of the staples that we get at Costco. I think I get one of these about once a month or about every 
three Costco shopping trips, so that would be like six weeks. And a little tip to make these go a little further, we fill them with about four cans of water instead of three, and it tastes just as good, so it helps it go a little further. Um, I got some frozen pineapples for smoothies. I've been really enjoying pineapple in the smoothies, and I ran out this week and made a smoothie without it, and I was really missing it. Um, and then this is my favorite blend for smoothies. So that is everything I got at Costco. Uh -oh. Daddy. Uh -oh. Daddy. Yeah, Daddy's home, huh? Uh -huh. Go, go. Yeah, there you go. Sprouts, I spent $89.26 and I got some organic gala apples, some cilantro for a recipe. I forgot to buy limes, so I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and buy some limes. Um, I also got some of these um, Cheerios, the Barber's brand. These are really good, they're gluten free, they don't have any sugar in them, they're sweetened with apple juice, and I got them for Miles to snack on. And I got these. Um, snack bars for miles. I don't really buy this kind of stuff, but I figured if we're out and about or something, I can just grab one of these. Um, so hopefully he even likes these. I kind of want to make my own of these, but I haven't tried that yet. I also got him some honey grams. I normally get the Sprouts brand, but these were on sale a little bit cheaper. So I got him those. And then I got two of these. These were on sale two for three, so they were $1.50 each. And my husband, um, has a home office now so he's home more for lunch so I got him these um, just to eat you know for lunch when he's here instead of just having leftovers or sandwiches all the time and then I got two packages of the boneless skinless chicken breast today was the last day of the sale for these I think they were a dollar sixty nine a pound so I just got two packages of those because I'm almost out and then for the vitamins I got for myself vitamin D and also I got calcium for myself since I'm still breastfeeding I want to make sure that I'm getting enough calcium and miles is as well and then some L-carnitine and then I I really like these for miles. They're just little vitamin C tablets. Uh, so that's what I got at Sprouts. Here's our two week meal plan. Um, spaghetti two times, which we do that every Monday. Grilled chicken twice. Pizza, enchiladas, which I have in the freezer because I made some um, for a meal for a friend who just had a baby. And I stuck the extra pan in the freezer. I have a video on how I meal plan out of the freezer, so I'll link that video down below if you're interested in watching that. Um, chili, taco salad, burritos, roast, six layer dish, carne asada, Cajun chicken and rice, and salsa verde chicken. I just have to show you my kitchen helper. He got into the baking stuff while I was putting away the groceries and um, filming them. And he's playing with the sprinkles and the flax seeds and all that, so. <laughs> He's having fun. What you doing, Miles? Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. He's putting them in the box from Costco. Are you gonna put it back for Mama? Can you go put it in there for Mama? I have to show you what my little helper did. He had fun putting away the groceries for me and taking stuff out <laughs> of the pantry and playing with it. So when I got home from the grocery store, um, this was last night and it was five o'clock so it was time to eat dinner and I just put away the cold and frozen stuff and Miles had fun with the rest of the groceries so he just kind of threw them in here and so I'm going to organize this and I will show you what it looks like after I am done. Here is the after. It's all nice and organized now. So down here I have the trash bags and the broom on the side. Hi, Miles. You gonna show us the pantry? Yeah. So these buckets down here, my mom got them at Smart and Final, and they're food buckets. Um, I think I was a teenager when she got them, and then when I got married and moved, she gave them to me. Um, so in this first one here, I've got um, old-fashioned rolled oats. I bought these in bulk um, through Azure Standard. They're organic oats. So. Um, I think I got 25 pounds and that's in there. 
And then in this one here is um, short grain brown rice, which I bought in a bag at Costco. I think it's like 12 or 13 pounds or something like that. I need to get a bin for this. This is just um, hard white wheat berries that I grind into flour. And then that last bucket is empty over there. So, so this shelf here is like all the snacks and crackers and popcorn. Ooh, Miles got the broom and um, macaroni. And then I moved some of my Tupperware type dishes in here because I have a cabinet that Miles can play in that doesn't have locks on it with all the other Tupperware, but I have to wash it every time I go to use it because he's always playing with it. And I had this in a different cabinet and it was kind of overflowing. So I just thought I'd move it in here. And then this is just like extra salsa, peanut butter, all that kind of stuff. And then this is the baking stuff, um, sugars. This is all the oils, honey, vinegar, quinoa, rice, um, and this is chips and more snacks. And then this is all the drinks, coffee, tea, that sort of stuff. Up here, um, these are just some granola bars. And I got this bin from Walmart, I think it's like 78 cents. And they're similar to the ones you get at the Dollar Tree, a little bit smaller, but it's way more sturdy and it fits this perfectly. Cause I used to just keep the box here, but I had an extra one of these. So I thought I would put that in there and it fits perfect. And then these containers I just got at Walmart. This is um, quick oats and this is the old fashioned oats. And I just refill this from that bucket down there. So that way when I make oatmeal in the morning, I don't have to get out that huge bucket. I just use this. And then this is um, my steel cut oats, just the remainder of them. I'm almost out. And then I've got all the cereals, breakfast cereals back. That's the extra um, quick oats there. And then yeah. here I have these canning jars that I put everything in because yeah. I thought it just looked really nice. So here's my walnuts. These are hemp hearts, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, and popcorn. And then I've got my protein powder back there. Um, I actually did a video on homemade protein bars. So I'll link that in the description box if you're interested in making your own. That's what I use that for. And then this is all pastas here. Here's all my pasta sauce, um, diced tomatoes, and then um, I've got kidney beans, dry kidney beans here, and then my black beans there. And up top, I didn't do anything with because I didn't need to. So that is my organized pantry. Doesn't it look so nice? And he got into the Tupperware. Miles, what you doing? Oh, is mommy gonna have to wash that again? Yeah. So I hope this motivated you to clean out your pantry. I usually try to organize it and clean it out every time I go grocery shopping. And um, with Miles kind of rearranging it for me last night, I kind of needed to do a deep clean and deep rearrange. Um, so yeah, I like how it turned out and I really like the glass canning jars there. Um, I know some people use containers and all that, but I had these on hand because um, I used to do canning a long time ago and I just thought it would fit perfectly um, and I think it looks really nice. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.